looking at the brand new British Commonwealth Mid Heavyweight Champion Tiger Khan being escorted to the ring by one of the Sharkettes. It is time for the main event this week on Stampede Wrestling, the much anticipated bout between Tiger Mahatma Khan and the returning hardcore ambassador, the suicidal, homicidal, genocidal Sabu, bad news. Well, you know, I hope the Mahatma here, he's gonna do it non-violently, that he keeps his mind on the match and forget about looking at the Sharkettes. But there's something that's really got me uh, uh, totally confused here, is that Mark the Shark is the manager of both these guys here. What the heck is he doing putting them in there wrestling each other? I don't Talk about a that. conflict of interest. He must be uh, also involved with the Canadian government. <laughs> this is something Don King would do when he, he had under contract. He had Tyson and he had under contract Holyfield. Well, here we go. We are awaiting the arrival of the hardcore ambassador Sabu. Well, there Talk he is. about a man who's been very successful all over the world. In fact, on May 3rd of 95, he defeated Koji Kanemoto in Fukuoka, Japan for the New Japan IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Stampede alumni who also held that prestigious title have included the late great King of Hearts, Owen Hart, Chris Benoit, who was known as the Pegasus Kid back then, Kichi Yamato, who cut his teeth here in Stampede before right. gaining worldwide fame as Jushin Thunder Liger, and one half of the Viet Cong Express in Stampede, now known as Hiroshi Hase. You know, but I know this here, Sabu's got two belts with him, too. I mean, this is champion against champion. Well, here. he is the Pacific Heavyweight Champion, which he won in Japan, uh -huh. and also the current XPW Heavyweight Champion, an upstart extreme promotion in California. In fact, right after this match, he's going to fly back to California and battle for the first time ever in North America, good friend of yours, Abdullah the Butcher. <laughs> Abdullah, that's my old partner. We were partners in Japan for three years. We of did course, a it's lot also, of business uh, and we broke a lot of heads. Paul Heyman's uh, second favorite promotion, XPW, XPW I say uh, not firmly planted in cheek, of course. Okay. <laughs> a lot of legal struggles there involving Paul Heyman and an upstart extreme promotion in California. Speaking of Paul Heyman, of course, the founder of Extreme Championship Wrestling, he and Sabu, of course, not seeing eye to eye. In fact, uh, there's also some legal wranglings there, but Sabu, yes. that's where he first made his name. It was in ECW. He was a two-time ECW World Heavyweight Champion, a one-time ECW Television Champion, and on three occasions held ECW Tag Team Gold. But right now, tonight, he is here to battle Tiger Mahatma Khan in a hardcore rules match, fight to the finish, a non-title affair. Non-title affair, but you're going to see the Mahatma. He's going to show these beer belly sharecroppers how you can wrestle non-violently. And the referee in the ring right now, John Pee Wee Moore, another ECW alumni. And if I'm not mistaken, a good friend of Sabu's. What's well, going on here? You talk about conflict of interest. I'm telling you, I don't know what the Mahatma was thinking of, but I know one thing. I wouldn't want him in there as a referee if his friend is Sabu. But uh, like I said before, once before, this man actually trained in New Japan Pro Wrestling Dojo, believe it or not. Really? Yes. The ring introductions being made, of course, the last time we saw Sabu, he elevated the career of Hotshot Johnny Devine. What a battle that was, one for the ages. Devine finally succumbing to Sabu's camel clutch, but something tells me this is going to be a wrestling version of a blood donor clinic, and... Uh, I think uh, a few tables may be broken before the end of this tilt. Well, you know, this is my kind of match here. Like, this started out in Stampede here. We called it a street fight at the time, but they call it hardcore now. With no rules, no regulations, anything goes. Start in the ring, fight up in, up with the beer belly sharecroppers. It didn't matter. Go into the concession stand. We did it all. We started it here in Stampede Wrestling. We called it Harlem Street Fighting, but now they call it hardcore. And we are all set for this titanic struggle. It is going to be Sabu and Tiger Mahatma Khan. Without a doubt, one of the most anticipated matches on the independent circuit today. It's been all over the internet. And here we go with Sabu and Tiger Khan. And you know bad news, Alan? Yes. You should not discount Sabu's mat wrestling techniques. A lot of people, of course, know him for how he made his name during right. the hardcore stuff, the high flying, going through tables and furniture. This guy could also mat wrestle. Well, you know, the man, you know, to win all the titles that he's won, 
you have to know what you're doing in that ring. And it's not only be able to brawl, but you have to know how to wrestle too. The man, that's the surprise about the man. A lot of people think that all he knows how to do is brawl, but he can wrestle also, and so can the Mahatma. Like I told you before, the Mahatma has been wrestling before he could walk. We're already Soon seeing- as he started to crawl, he was wrestling with his teddy bear. And we're already seeing an indication of these two combatants, Matt, Technique says there's a nice reversal by Tiger Khan into the hammerlock on Sabu. Already some submission style wrestling to kick things off in this main event on Stampede Wrestling. Well, that's a good strategy. If you see, if you're in there for the first time with a guy that you never wrestled before, even though you may have seen him wrestle a hundred times, being in there with him for the first time, it makes a difference. So you have to feel them out. You have to know what you can do, what you can't do, and then you get started to do your thing. You know, when you talk about wrestlers who define the term hardcore, names that instantly come to mind, Mick Foley, yes. Terry Funk, yes. Abdullah the Butcher, and yep. of course, right up there, the man we see in the ring, Sabu, doing battle with Tiger Khan. Oh, let's don't leave out King Curtis also. Oh, he King was Curtis, another one too. You got with that the big right. flyers he used to carry around. Oh, there's with. many others. The late oh, great yeah. Joe LaDuke also right. comes to mind. But indeed, uh, Terry Funk, Mick Foley, Abdullah the Butcher, and this man Sabu, I'd say, would have to be the Fab Four of hardcore. That's for sure. Although Atsushi Onida may have uh, something to say about that as well. The uh, he's crazy man from Japan. Oh, he's definitely There's turned a person in the corner. Oh, oh, swinging DDT off the second rope. Sabu just planted Khan. Unbelievable. What a move. And you could tell who these beer belly sharecroppers are cheering for. They're cheering for Sabu. So I can't result, believe that. Guillotine leg drop, the slingshot from the apron. You're right, Ben. News, although Sabu, of course, reputation precedes him. That's it. But I'm cheering for the Mahatma oh, because he's going to do this non-violently. He's going to beat the Sabu in the middle of the ring, going to beat him like a dirty dog, non-violently. I would venture to say that Tiger Mahatma Khan is the complete package at Stampede Wrestling. There's a baseball yep. slide drop kick delivered by Sabu. Unfortunately, oh. though, he, he is too influenced by the likes of Mark the Shark <laughs> and a guy by the name of Bad News Allen. If Khan would just stick to wrestling, there's no doubt in my mind he would be a world champion one day. Well, see, he never won a title until he listened to Bad News. Here we go. Uh-oh. What Sabu, is this? Look at triple this. Triple jump in a plunge. Oh. Oh, mama Mia wipes out the current British Commonwealth mid heavyweight champion. Unbelievable. He hurt himself, too. What a crazy move. Air Sabu. Like I said, I'm glad, the runway. I'm glad I'm retired. I never did stuff like that, jump off the top ropes or anything. Well, Tiger Khan was a landing pad there, but now that ubiquitous table introduced, and that's a synonymous with a Sabu match, but Sabu back up on his feet, oh. and he crushes Khan on the top turnbuckle. There goes uh, the Hoppers' uh, plans for the date with one of the uh, Sharkettes tonight. Now Sabu. Watch this move. Springboard into the Frankensteiner out of the corner. Unbelievable. Float over, and Khan kicks out a two. The very agile Sabu. This man has no regard Whoa. for his personal welfare. He approaches every match with reckless abandon, always throwing oh. caution to the wind, and he was almost beheaded <laughs> by that sublime super kick executed by Khan. A big size 12 right in the mush. And there's the veteran, Sabu, with the ring presence, the wherewithal to reach out and grab that bottom rope to break that pinfall attempt. Well, you know, a man who's been in so many wars, wrestling wars, he knows his way around the ring. Even when you hurt, you know what you got to do to get out of trouble. There's a T-bone suplex executed by Khan. He goes for the cover. Lackadaisical press, oh, and Sabu's no, no, no. able to the pop him in the proboscis. Mahatma, you can't pin nobody that way. Now putting the boots to the sternum. Sabu and Tiger Mahatma Khan, the main event this week on Stampede Wrestling, hardcore rules, fight to the finish. Oh, oh beautiful move there by right Sabu the as he knee. took the left wheel, blew it out of Khan, and Khan there gets a drop kick, as you say, right to the knee, and now there's Sabu with his trusted friend, the chair, uh -oh. sets it up, comes off the ropes. Oh, watch this. The bandit triple oh. jump, moonsault, Sabu finds the mark, could this be it? Oh, Khan kicks out a two. You notice the Mahatma kicked out. But oh, see now, Sabu, Sabu made a smart move. Exact quick That's to the it. rear chin left. Right. Exactly. Not giving his opponent any no, amount of time to recuperate. Now going back to the well. Oh, oh this look at that. Khan trips him up. <laughs> face first into the chair goes Sabu. <laughs> smart move on the part of Tiger Mahatma Khan pulling that out at the last second. That's 
definitely from Harlem Incorporated 2000. That move right there. Now Khan with the now Calcutta clutch and Mark the Shark to Carlo now door. with the chair. He manages both these guys. What's yeah, he who, what, what does he want to do with the chair? He's wheeling that it? chair and he what? hits that move. What is he, crazy or what? That's he's not how I describe mind. Mark in the Dark to Carlo. The man is you, totally hey, lost his You mind. have to have a mind in order to lose it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, why would you hit one of your own men? I don't understand it. Tiger Khan now to the outside. Sabu lying supine on the man. Now he's brought to the outside as well. And this is very familiar territory for Sabu oh, and oh, Tiger oh, Mahatma Khan. Oh, oh, and he's stabbed in the gut with a chair. Oh, and he just throws a chair right man. against his face. Free cosmetic surgery, oh. courtesy of the hardcore ambassador, Sabu. That's a total lack of regard for his head. Sabu's uncle, of course, the original Sheik. And Sabu definitely following in the footsteps of that Matt Madman. Oh, he was definitely another hardcore type. First man to use fireballs yes. in the wrestling now, match. And now here? there's Khan and Mark the Shark. Sabu's out the top. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Sabu just wipes out Mark the Shark to Carlo. I guess that's what you call taking one for the team. That's as right. the Carlo pushed Khan out of the way, and he took the full brunt of that leg drop from the top rope. Sabu putting Khan, or make that to Carlo through the table. Well, he got exactly what he deserved. He put that big nose in somebody else's business. He tried to, he did hit Sabu with a chair, and now he's trying to stick his nose in, in someone else's business, like I said. You he can, got exactly what he did. You can hear for yourself the uh, <laughs> chant from the crowd as that move took place. They uh, showed DiCarlo and Sabu how they felt about what just transpired, and DiCarlo... Look at the Mark the Shark. He is out for the count. Well, at least when he wakes up, he's got some beautiful women to, to, uh, to pull. You know, I was going to say it would have hurt him, but uh, he did land on his head, so it shouldn't <laughs> hurt that much. Pump handle now by Khan into the sit-out slam. Beautiful move. And you know, we, it's a hardcore rules match, but I have one has to be impressed, and you can color me impressed with the amount of wrestling acumen exhibited by both these combatants. After all, the marquee still reads wrestling. This is not sports entertainment. We are not purveyors of soap operatic storylines and an right. overabundance of the TNA, although maybe Mark the Shark the Colour might have something to say about that. Right. As Khan misses with that corkscrew moonsault, Sabu rolls out of the way and goes for the cover gardeners of two. Well, you know, we got in touch with Atlanta and we got in touch with Connecticut, and a lot of their men are afraid to come up here because it's not the show business type that they used to. This is hardcore, knockdown, drag out wrestling that Stu Hart has always promoted for years. Sabu brings the table in the ring as he launches that table into the ring, and you know, I'm, you know, I can tell you right now, I don't mind a little eye candy, but too much yeah. can. Uh, give the brain a cavity, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. All right, Sabu kicks Khan now, and that table uh -oh. stands ominously in the ring now, and that's where Sabu is taking Tiger Khan. Khan supine on the table. There's a chop to the throat. And where is Sabu going to go? But upstairs. Well, like somebody... This does not bode well for Tiger Khan. <laughs> not at all. Well, now, what's he doing out here? I shot Johnny Devine now, the man who wrestled Sabu. A few weeks ago here at Stampede Wrestling, and all of a sudden, what, is this now a triple threat match? What the heck is he doing in here? Hardcore well, rules, fight to the finish. I don't think Divine's coming to the aid. Oh, hardcore, he can do whatever he wants. Oh, oh man, he puts, man, that broke my back. Somersault sent on, but the table didn't give. Oh, and now the bell rings. What the heck is going on with the bell? The timekeeper ringing the bell. Doesn't that idiot know hardcore rules? Hardcore rules. No, no rules. There's no rules. No, no rules at all. That's why they're able to put, if you're a beer belly sharecropper from Mars, and this is the first time you saw this, this is the reason why they could put a table in there. Of course, last week we saw the disintegration of the Young Guns, the international tag team champions, losing the belts to the team of Frank Einstein and Dirty Dick Rains. But what in the hell is Divine doing this match? And what in the hell is Sabu going to do? Oh, Is the full brunt of that is again the table may have cracked but he didn't go anywhere and he caught the full brunt of that arabian leg drop 
delivered by Sabu. And what is this? The New York Stock Exchange. The bell continues to ring. Well, what's going on here? I'm the, wow, the referee's waving it off. You're discombobulated just like I am, Bad News Allen. I don't believe this. What's we have on? an impromptu triple threat match. Now it's referee John Pee Wee Moore. He's seen a he's lot of this stuff in ECW. What the heck is this? Going he's on. Signaling to the back. Devine has been busted open. He goes to work on Sabu. Tiger Mahatma Khan may be heading for high ground, getting the hell out of Dodge. No, he's back in, and he continues to the pepper Sabu. The left the ring. He's gone. It's anarchy here in WOW Stampede Wrestling. This is true hardcore here. No referee, nobody. Just get in there and kick some butt. That's all. Devine with an European uppercut on Sabu. Obviously, now Dwight, and now here's Big oh, with the here and you know who he's going yes. after. His former partner, now bitter enemy, <laughs> Hot Shot Johnny Devine, <laughs> as the Young Guns imploded last week after their title loss, and Pollock still has a plenty of scores to settle with Hot Shot Johnny Devine. Now Pollock oh. jumps up from the second rope and delivers a forearm to the back of Devine. Well, you know, more all four of these guys have issues here now. You know, they all have issues. If, I, if it was up to me... If it was up to me, I'd put them all in the ring and let them kill each other. Referee John Pee Wee Moore, senior official J. Edgar Hooker now in there as well. It's total anarchy I'm this week you. on Stampede Wrestling. <laughs> oh, this is what was big supposed big. to be a hardcore rules match between Sabu and Tiger Khan now has Pollock battling Khan, delivering a trifecta of European uppercuts. And we're going to stay with this as long as we can, wrestling yes. fans. I'm sorry. I don't know what the official decision is. Rendered by, oh, and look it, oh. I shot Johnny Devine bleeding like the proverbial stuck pig. He goes after his former partner, oh, Pollock, slaps oh. him on the table. This is unbelievable. Now, uh, Dick Reigns is in what here. What happened to the international tag team champions? Dirty Dick Reigns is in them. And it looks like the locker room is being emptied here. Sabu goes to work on Devine. Now he exchanges blows with Khan. Oh, this is unbelievable. Look at this. You got Pollock uh, double really axe hole in them. to the top of Devine's head. This is turning out to be a battle, hardcore battle royal. This We've got is, everybody out here. You can use any cliche you like to describe this one. It's a Donnybrook, a brouhaha, a Pier 6 brawl, and it's we've lost total control this week. You see remnants of the table. We have Irish Red O'Reardon now. He's yes. attempting to be a peacekeeper. Good luck. Oh, this is unbelievable. Paula Kedavai, the former international tag team champions, known as the Young Guns. Uh oh, oh those getting guns out the way here. Each other. Oh, bad oh, oh. And we're both out of <laughs> We both got out of the way. <laughs> oh, these guys are crazy. And they've just came to the broadcast area, put themselves through the table. Now Dirty Dick Waynes holding on to Greg Pistol Pollock. Well, there goes our table. <laughs> You talk about fireworks. You talk about action. It's tailor-made to your satisfaction. It's hardcore to the extreme this week on Stampede Wrestling. Oh, this is total chaos here. I'm totally confused. Now, I thought there's I'm no not, rules, I'm no not, regulations. The bell rung. I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm hiding behind the production staff now, man. Yeah, After they came the right and thing. destroyed our broadcasting area, the Sabu the and Khan are back at it. The referees are trying to pull them apart along with Irish Red O'Reardon. Good luck. I don't know who got out of that, uh, got out of the way first. You, me, or Miss B. This reminds me of closing time in Mystics. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> As Devine is rolled back into the ring. When they make last call and these guys don't want to leave the place. And these tag team partners, they used to be closer than Siamese twins, but now the great divide between Pollock and Devine. Tiger Muhammad Khan, I'm sure he is frustrated and frankly, Pissed off by what's transpired, he Wait wanted to oh. make, he wanted to add to his legend by beating the hardcore ambassador Sabu, but it's become a free for all did here at Stampede Wrestling. Did you just see what Stu's grandson just did to his former partner? Oh man, that hurt. Tiger Mahan Makan wants the stick. He wants the mic. He wants to say something here, and he's going to attempt to maybe make some sense of what has turned into. As Ben, you said it, absolute chaos I'm this week you. on Stampede Wrestling. Wait a minute, there's Commissioner Bruce Hart. He's, he's out here saying. Obviously. Obviously. Have
having no more of the Mama Luka Boo Boo, no more of the smelly Punami gimmick. Tiger Khan has just turned hardcore, and now he has just turned into a, a mess of, of, after being put, slammed on the table there by Sabu. Look, but somebody, obviously Tiger this? Khan... Somebody, uh, look at this. Got the the ladder. Tiger Khan just wants Sabu in the ring. And you got Divine here with a ladder. I thought he was going to change the light bulbs or something. We have all sorts of implements being introduced here, and now Divine oh. using that ladder as a battering ram, right oh. into the rib cage of both Khan and his former partner, Greg Pistol Pollock. Well, I tell you, now, if I was Divine, that's what I would have done. Oh, look at this. Holy mackerel. He has just wiped out Divine with that ladder, has Sabu. The Sabu's fans aren't the going place. anywhere, Bad News. Many of them are on their feet. They can't believe what they're saying. I can't believe it. It's total chaos in here. Khan returns the favor and slams Sabu onto the broken table. And really, oh. this table, symbol, symbolic oh. of how these wrestlers are going to be following this brouhaha, all of them are going to be broken up. <laughs> well, I tell you, in the back there, they're going to be fighting over who's going to get into the whirlpool first. Yeah. I think the Foothills Hospital should be uh, notified immediately because I don't see this thing ending anytime soon. Even the security leery about up oh, getting is, into the ring. This is totally out of hand. That's they all. know the reputation of one Sabu. And frankly, thanks to Sabu, WOW's roster has also taken it to the extreme and become hardcore this week. Well, let's face it, if you were security, would you want to get in there with these four guys? No, thanks. No, me either. Now Divine on the top turnbuckle. Plancha on Khan. Pollock and Sabu now. They can't make up their mind who they want to beat they up They trade first. blows. They all want to beat each other up. They don't know who they want to beat There's up There's the banded camel clutch. But Dirty Dick's got uh, Sabu by the hair now. You know, it was uh, credited to his uncle, the Sheik, but I heard the first person used the camel clutch in a wrestling match was Gory Guerrero, but let's uh, not go there because this is anything but a wrestling match. This is a brawl. This is war. Like, Stampede wrestling style. Like you said, this is late night at Fisty's at last call. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This resembles the DiCarlo household fighting for the, uh... well, I guess I shouldn't go there either. I think uh, the senses are having a busy enough time with this one as it is. I'm Sabu. surprised. I'm surprised these guys have been attacked the shark yet. They've attacked everybody else. <laughs> Sabu braining everyone in his path with that chair. All right, wrestling fans, we're going to try to restore some semblance of order here. I don't know what the conclusion of this is. Tiger Khan is back on the stick. I guess that uh, shot with the chair got rid of that uh, accent that Tiger <laughs> Muhammad Khan had had. But again, as he said, damn the gimmick. That's he it. is hardcore. He is hardcore to the core. And Tiger... Well, bad news as uh, usual, we're going to do the uh, finish on camera as we usually do the closing of the show, but uh, they're, they're still fighting amongst us here, and frankly, I, I don't want to be anywhere near the broadcast position. Needless to say, <laughs> nothing settled between Sabu and Tiger Mahatma Khan, what degenerated into a battle royal brawl featuring many members of the roster, many members of the locker room. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that here in Stampede Wrestling. Well, you know, what I would like to do is get that Commissioner Bruce Hart, that idiot, to sign and make sure that everything is legal and signed, put up a cage, throw all four of those guys in there and just let them go at it and kill each other. Which four would you choose after that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they all want to beat each other up, so just put them in there. Let them what flip about a coin and we'll find out. Have Sabu in there, have the Mahatma in there, have uh, Maybe uh, Khan Pollock in there, have uh, uh, Divine. Divine in there, and put anybody else who wants to get in there. Sounds good to me. In any event, wrestling fans, uh, we hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, a lot of mock.